so this is how I've been living for the past month. Mattress on the floor vibes. Do you guys hear that? They're breaking down the house next door to me, which is fine. But I moved for peace and quiet. Telling you these things always happen to me. But I try my hardest to maintain sanity and peace and love and joy. Basically, I have potential to do a lot today. I have my bed frame to build, which would definitely be useful because, um, yeah, we've already talked about the situation. Then, I have my desk to build, which has been living here in the middle of my office slash closet. And I really would love to build the desk. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna be able to organize all of my office stuff, all my camera stuff, all my music stuff, which is all in boxes in the closet, which doesn't make me feel joy. They need to be out so I can play with them. And then also I have a rug coming for this room. Today, supposedly, you know how the mail is these days. But I hope it comes so that we can unbox it. I also want to put up posters. Like, this is not, this doesn't feel like my home yet at all. I need posters, I need fun. I need good vibes. And then also, I want to hang up shelves and organize my toy collection. I don't know if I'm gonna do everything today. I have a feeling this video might be like a couple days long. Wait, should I give you guys like a little tour first? Yeah, I'm gonna do a little tour first. <laughs> Here's the door, closet. Oh, excuse me. This is the bedroom, but I'm using it as an office and closet space. I already got my clothing rack, my mirror, my makeup stuff, art supplies, sewing collection. I also have a big closet here. Then we go out, Noki's bathroom, and my bathroom. This is the bathroom. I finally have a bathtub again. I'm so happy and grateful. By the way, I'm so happy and grateful in general for this place. It's crazy. Wait, let's talk for a second. Let's have a heart to heart, okay? You guys don't even understand how grateful I am to live here and how surreal it feels. Like, that I don't live in my old apartment anymore. That I finally, like, have a nice apartment. It didn't even feel real for the first month that I lived here. I actually got so sick after I moved in so for two weeks. I was just down I was just sick and that's why I didn't really like get my place together But I feel like finally now I'm ready and it's time because like I want it to feel like a home You know what I mean? I want to feel like I'm home I feel like the kitchen is like the most lived in thing and I have a dishwasher I finally have a dishwasher you guys know I am team fuck the dishes I finally have a dishwasher never in my life did my family live somewhere where we had a dishwasher once we we lived in my mom's ex-boyfriend's house and he had a dishwasher but we never used it you guys don't understand to have this nice kitchen and laundry in my apartment and to live in like a nice apartment in new york while being from new york my family's from here like this feels crazy it's so crazy to see people come to new york and move to really nice apartments and have like really nice jobs and like money and then have like my family who's been here forever like they all had to move i'm the only one that's still in the five boroughs like you have to understand either they moved out of state or they moved to long island as a creative person not from a background of privilege i never thought i could live somewhere comfortably while doing what i loved like i just always thought i'd have to settle for like some shitty little apartment or like just some place that sucked but i I, it was cheap so I stayed I never thought this was in the cards for me and then it happened to know that I came from where I came from and I achieved what I wanted to achieve and followed my dreams is insane and I'm very grateful and it shocks me every day and honestly like I have a big fear that it will all go away one day and I don't deserve it and I will fail I don't know I have a big fear of failing but I'm trying to enjoy this moment <laughs> and yeah I just want to thank you guys because without you guys and without your support I literally wouldn't be doing Doing this like my job is not possible without you guys like my supporters and followers and subscribers and it's also crazy to think about so I just want to say thank you like a million times thank you guys for changing my life honestly like that's like the best way I could say it you guys literally changed my life thank you forever <laughs> but let me stop because I'm getting emotional weirdly so yeah this is the kitchen do you guys want to see inside my fridge I just went grocery shopping wow and look, I made a gingerbread house. I kind of have the munchies, I'm not gonna lie. I smoked the right before filming the intro. Oh, I have leftover cheesecake factory. <laughs> okay, I'll probably eat this soon. But then, here's the living room, which I'm using as a bedroom. I need to get bar stools. But then here I have a balcony. I'm kind of using over here as storage. Literally, this is just all home decor, plushies, and toys. But I plan to put a couch here. And I got this chair. I kind of fucked up with the chair, though. It was supposed to be for outside. But it didn't fit. So now it's in the living room. But I don't care, because it's a rocking chair. So yeah, that's the whole place.
Honestly, it really wasn't even that good though. Looking at this is already giving me stress. So I'm gonna go smoke a clip and then start this. I guess, I have to. I know that was short and sweet for you guys, but that took me forever. I'm so tired. It's the next day, guys. I need a scissor. I got this from StockX. Pro tip for StockX, always bid. Literally always bid, never buy the full price, unless you really want it. But you can always get it for cheaper. Ooh, I'm nervous, I hope I like it, I'm excited. I bid on this like three times because they didn't want to accept my bid, so kept doing it a little higher. Finally, I got it. And I paid less than retail, which I love because I love a good deal. Oh my god, wait, I just got so excited. I love it. Look, you're gonna love this. Come, come, baby. Look, he loves sitting on everything. I just want him to experience this. Come. Yeah. Why are you being so weird? This rug is nice, actually. Like, this is a nice quality rug. I always buy cheap rugs. Are you happy? I'm happy. Wow, you're gonna be so upset when this box is gone. Sorry, baby. I actually don't have time to build my desk today because I'm going to this like weed karaoke event tonight and I just feel like if I build a desk, I'm gonna have no time to get ready and I want to look cute. <laughs> but I have other stuff that I want to do. I have posters. I feel like right here is begging for a poster. Right there is begging for a poster. Outside is begging for posters. I feel like over here is begging for a poster. You know, in my opinion, to me, a house is not a home until there's posters on the walls. I feel so naked. I could stand on this. I'm gonna bust my ass. I've been busting my ass a lot lately. I don't know what energy's in the air. Is it straight? You know, I think it's straight. I think I just eyeballed that. See, I'm a master poster hanger upper. This poster reminds me so much of my old apartment and I feel like it's important to like have things that feel like your old place because it kind of gives them like a new life like they get to come with me and it makes me happy because it reminds me of things that make a random box feel like home. <laughs> I'm really scared to mess up the wall. I know how to do it and I know how to do it well. I just am scared to fuck up somebody else's wall. But I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> up the wall right there just a little bit I need like an anchor one of these I need to do girl construction with the power of girl construction I did it I'm tired. I'm hungry. 
I think after I eat, I'm gonna organize my toy collection, which I'm very excited about. I feel like I just have needed like my stuff around. I like surrounding myself with things that make me happy. Like, look at these little friends. Finally time to build the desk. It's actually New Year's Eve, like the ball is going to drop in a couple hours and this is what I'm choosing to do. I just need to force myself to build this desk. I just feel like it's gonna take me like literally three or four hours. What time is it? 8.22. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Four hours. So I better be done with this desk by the time the ball fucking drops. Not that I'm doing anything, but it's like a personal goal. Like, I don't know why this is like me going into the new year. Like, fuck you, new year. Not fuck you in a bad way, but like, fuck you, like, I got this. No one's gonna stop me. I'm strong. I'm independent. I would like a soft 2024, though. Okay, let's build the desk. <coughs> Time to get down to business. Come right here. Get get over here. Why you got a G sticker? No key. My baby a G. Can I take it out? You want it back? Did it. I didn't even know how long this took me. Oh my god, slay. 9.50. What's my affirmation of today? I am grateful for the lessons I am learning along the way. Yeah, oh my god. That one was real. Oh my god, I think Noki wants to come in. Noki. <gasps> Friend. Look what I built. Guarantee he's gonna jump up there very soon. I know my baby. Baby, do you love it? I love it. I wanted a desk with like so much storage and like look how much storage this is. All of my equipment is gonna be able to just go in here and live its best life, you know? And I like this part with like the little basket and the hooks. You can like put whatever you want on there. So yeah, I'm gonna deal with all of this trash. I'm a person who hates doing things that they don't want to do. There's so many things in adult life that you'll have to do that's just so... Blah. I don't like when things feel very like, ugh. And that's how this is making me feel. Very blah. Hey guys, it is the next day. It's already dark outside. I woke up with really bad cramps. Then I took a nap at 12.30 and I set my alarm for 1.30. I woke up at 3. But anyways, I'm still gonna do everything I need to do because I'm not no bitch, I'm not no quitter. But I need a latte or something. By the way, this shirt is my merch if you wanna get it. Add the chai, oat milk, and then I'm using this creamer today, coffee cake. I'm a big fan of creamers. I don't know why, just having like a little drink in my hand while I do a task puts me in the mood, it puts me in the mindset. It's like, when I have a cup in my hand, I'm like Commander Emily. Guys, 
guys, do you wanna see something crazy? I keep all the notes that like brands send me with stuff. There's like so many, like Beatnik, <laughs> the restaurant, <laughs> so random. Rip and Dip, Eddie Parker, Good Day Young. Isn't this so fun, Noki? Oh, this one's from Mod. And I have like so many like handwritten notes. Somebody drew this for me once and I literally kept it forever. But yeah, keep it all in this little plastic box. <laughs> Isn't this so crazy, guys? This is my planner and kind of like finance book for last year. And now it's 2024. Like, is it really 2024? My 2023 planner is now like done. But I actually keep all of my planners and journals or like whatever books that I use for anything all in a box and I don't know, I just feel like I can't throw it out. I feel like especially my planners, I like to look back through the years and see like what a regular Tuesday was like. My life is so much different now than it was two years ago. So seeing the difference with like physical proof of my planner just feels so cool. So yeah, these will go in that box. And I already got my new ones for 2024. Cause I had to be prepared. I'm an organized girl. You think this business runs itself? No. Now I'm gonna bring all those decorations I have in the other room and then try to put some here. This is looking cute, right? I kind of like to keep a clear desk, so I'm gonna kind of leave it at this. I think this little section and this basket is gonna end up being like where my stash goes. Cause right now I keep it in the kitchen and I really wanna keep all of my broccoli in the office. <laughs> Okay, I'm literally obsessed. This whole situation is so cute. Giving like kawaii stoner princess. <laughs> However, I'm not gonna lie. This is a big mess. I need to declutter this. I'm gonna figure out the situation and I'll get back to you guys. I'll, I'll come back because I really don't know what to do with all this stuff. My apartment's starting to like look like it's my apartment like Let me tell you guys my little plan This channel right here has the potential to hit 100k subscribers, which is insane because I never thought I'd do that again As you can see I have this plaque <laughs> This is for my old channel and it's just like one of my really huge accomplishments that I made in life Teenage me was actually pretty fucking cool But my plan is that if I get a hundred thousand subscribers on this channel, I could get another plaque So I want to put it here. I just I want to put it here. I want to get another plaque I want to get another plaque just to prove to myself that I could do it again to prove to myself that I'm like everlasting to prove to myself that like I'm that bitch to prove to myself that like I've been doing this shit Okay, but now I want to find a spot for my alligator you basketball hoop. <laughs> you think I'll fall if I stand on this? If I fall, you guys better catch me. Kobe. Oh, Kobe. Okay, I'm having some trouble picturing a gallery wall here. So I just smoked and thought about it for a second. I feel like my main issue is this. Like, I know this is probably for like a TV or something, the outlets, but it's so ugly there. So I think what I need to do is just use this to like cover it. And then I'll put my dry erase board here and then something there and then something there. I love it. This is looking really cute. I could do this and then find something for here. Oh, I think that that's cute actually. That is to put pictures on, so I have to look through my pictures and see which ones I want to put up there. But oh, wait, this is kind of cute, right? I need something for here, but I don't know what. Or just little things. I'm not opposed to just sticking stuff on the wall with tape. You know, I love a collage like that. I also have this, which is a giant blow-up king palm. But I don't think I can blow this up right now at all. But I'm happy. I definitely need more artwork for the entire place and just like more decor. But I finished everything that I wanted to do in this video so that means it's tour time okay so here's how it looks when you walk in like imagine you're coming through the door like you know you know what i mean i feel like it's kind of inviting then this is the office oh i'm a 
obsessed with how it's looking. Here's how this part's looking. I added pictures. I'm just like so obsessed. Then we have my clothing rack, and the mirror, my vanity, and my new favorite rug. I'm so inspired to get more rugs now, like I'm gonna get probably like three more rugs for the living room. Then here's this part. You guys have already seen this like a million times. Basketball! Let's see if I can get it. <gasps> Yay! Hi, Noki baby. You wanna play? So yeah, here's the office. Then when you walk out, you have this section. You know, all my books. So I look a little studious. Also, all of Noki's toys live here. I'm gonna get him a cat tree or something soon. I just don't know what he likes. He's so picky. I bought so many things for this cat. He just doesn't give a fuck about them. He'd rather sleep in a cardboard box. All right, and then when you go over here, we have my toy collection. I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. Literally just having it here makes me happy. Like I can just look at them. And I have stories for all of them and some are dating and some are families. Maybe I'll explain one day. Or maybe I'll give you a sneak peek right now. They are dating. They are a family. This is a single mom with her two kids. They are dating. They are dating. They are dating. Oh my god. And Daphne. What the fuck is his name? And Haida used to be dating but I forgot and I put them on separate sides of the shelf. So I think um they got a divorce. Okay, and then here's like the bathroom area because it's like my bathroom and also Noki's bathroom. Also, Litter Robot, I love it so much. It's the most bougie purchase ever, but I got it. Then here's my bathroom. I really didn't show you guys much in here. I didn't really do anything. Here is me. I want you guys to know this is how I see myself in the mirror. When I look in this mirror, this is how I see myself. You know, I think apartments should come in like short versus tall sizes. <laughs> because why why is this so tall this is the top shelf and this is how far it is i i literally full reach finally have a bathtub i didn't have a bathtub for like two years and that fucking sucked that sucked so much i'm so happy i have a bathtub again hello kitty hand towel oh you guys are probably wondering why that cabinet's empty because i keep everything in here mm. All my skincare is organized by like type. I have all my masks, oils, whatever, whatever. Okay, enough of the bathroom. I really didn't do anything to the kitchen, except I did clean. I did clean a lot. I scrubbed everything down. So sorry, my fridge started making noises. You wanna be the star of the show? And I got this so I could write down my grocery list or shopping list or anything I need. La 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 la. And I guess like I put this picture up, but that was already there. And here's Noki's food situation. He drinking that shit up. Look at this Hello Kitty that I've had since I was like in middle school and I thought I threw it out, but my mom saved it for me. So she came in clutch there. But yeah, kitchen. I got a candle going. I'm gonna put an air fryer right there. Also, I need bar stools. See, like. I didn't really do much to the kitchen yet. I've just been using it as a kitchen. I haven't really like decorated it, you know? But I guess I did put this up. I still did not connect my Alexa. It's just been like this. I don't know why. Then you guys saw I did this. Mm, Ta-da! And then here's like the living area. I cleaned over here too. And here also I'm not done because I want to get like a couch or something for here. For now, I just put all my plushies down here. Isn't that kind of cute? or do i look crazy oh my god they're gonna all be watching me sleep this is my little rocking chair but i think it's actually like a really cute little cozy section and let me show you this Ta-da! This is my projector. So yeah, that's why this wall will stay blank because I'm gonna use it to watch things. Honestly, I always preferred a projector versus a TV because it's just like one less thing. It's just like one less thing to deal with. Like I don't want to deal with the TV. Just put it on the wall. Just put it on the wall. Put on the wall. Then we have my bed that I built. This bed has been so comfortable. I have loved sleeping here the past few nights. Life has been great. I actually put my crystals on my headboard. I didn't film me arranging my crystals because I kind of see it as a spiritual practice and those things I like to keep to myself. The internet is a weird, scary place. But yeah, here are my crystals. And also I like that there's like a little storage under here. Look at this, I made this. It is a tic-tac-toe game, but it's waffles with blueberries and butter and one person person is butter and one person is blueberries <laughs> and i just got this plushie like a couple days ago i like that there's a little storage under because i like put some of my old furniture under there and then here is my balcony I have a little raw rug how cute they sent that to me and then yeah that's really it again they put the fucking outlets in the middle it's probably for a tv 
can't be mad because it's probably for a TV, but I'm not a TV user, okay? But anyways, I like how happy and joyful my apartment feels now. And yeah, that is literally it. That's basically all. I definitely need to keep settling in and like decorating it, making it cuter, buying new things, getting a couch or something cozy for there, maybe a beanbag. Noki, should I get a beanbag? A beanbag couch. Could be pricey, but could be worth it. I'll do like an official tour whenever it's done, maybe in like a couple months, but I will do another tour, I promise you. I literally prom pinky promise, pinky promise, promise. And I wanna get more rugs, cause suddenly I'm like really into rugs. But yeah, stay tuned for that one. I will be making a lot more videos this year. I'm very excited. I feel like very inspired by YouTube again and long form content. So yeah, 2024 should be fun. If you watched this far and you're not subscribed, you literally should because you obviously like me and i'm trying to reach 100k but yeah thank you guys so much for watching your support literally blows me away every time it feels very surreal i'm very grateful and i don't know life just feels like a dream lately like i wake up and i'm just like oh i like my job and i like my house and i like myself wow who knew <laughs> but yeah i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next video Bye!